Hey guys, Ratio Tables and Graphs Part 2. Remember, your objective is the same as the last video. As a student, you should be able to complete ratio tables and graph their coordinates. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph the coordinates on this one. We're going to show you how you do this, and then we're just going to let you finish the worksheet on your own. There's no graphic organizer. However, you do need one of these, which is worksheet number 15. It's both sides, so it's two pages. We're going to do that first problem with you, and then I'm going to send you on your own to do these. All right, so we're going to get started. It says equivalent ratios and graphs. It says at the top, Nibby collects 12 new coins each year. Use equivalent ratios to graph the growth of this coin collection over time. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do all of these steps, and there's really like six questions, so we're going to do all six of those together. And then the rest of them you have to do on your own. So first one, it says write an ordered pair for the first year. Let x coordinate, so it says x, represent the number of years. So I'm going to go down here and I see this chart. Okay, I see this chart, that's my ratio table, and it wants years to be x, and it says let y be coins. So we're going to do y coordinate is coins. Okay, so it says 1 over 12. And it's make a table of equivalent ratios. Well, that table is right down there at the bottom. So let's make a table. All right, remember that we can simply use proportions. This one's already set up real nice. 12 times 2 is 24. Oh, wait, that one's 24. 24 divided by 1 is 24. So there we go. All right, we can also do 12 times 3, which is 36, divided by 1. Hey, that gives us 36 as well. And it looks like it's just counting by 12s. And it is. 12, 24, 36, 48 and 60. So that would be our equivalent ratio table. You could have used proportions if you needed to, however that one was pretty easy. Okay, and it said 12 coins per year. So that means 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 12 is 36. All that cool stuff. Now, here's where it gets a little bit hard. It says write ordered pairs for the values in the ratio table. So now that we finished those, we need to write ordered pairs. And ordered pairs are in the form of x comma y with parentheses around them. Okay, so we need x. Well, we need to find x. x, and remember, we put years as x. So our ordered pair for the first one is 1, 12. Okay. And the second one was 2, 24, 3, 36, 4, 48, and finally, 5, and 60. And what it wants us to do now, it says if we look at number four, it says give the graph a title and label the two axes. Well, the axes are the x and y. So x was years, and we know that because it told us that. And the y happens to be at the top, which is coins. So let's put that, and we need to give it a, a title. And what is this, Nivy? We'll just say this is Nivy's two eyes on Nivy. Nivy's coin collection, and we'll call it that. And sometimes it doesn't want to recognize my finger, so it takes me a few extra seconds. All right, so there we go. We gave it a title. We labeled both the axes. Now it says, graph the ordered pairs as points. So on step five, it says graph the ordered pairs. So all you have to do is so one, one year, 12. 1, 12, 2, 24, 3, 36, 4, 48, 5, 60. And those are all graphed, and you notice that if you put those together, they would create a straight line that goes all the way to the top, which is pretty cool. That means it is equivalent because it's a straight line. They're not missed up or on the other sides, so that's cool. Okay. And it says the point 112, or the coordinate 112, represents the year Nivy started his collection. It shows that he had 12 coins after one year. Using this graph, at this rate, if Nivy continues to collect coins, how many will he have after eight years? Well, you notice I created that line, right? I created that straight line. So all I have to do is look at eight years, go up, and it looks like I would have 96 coins. So the answer to that question is 96 coins. Basically what this is telling me that each year I collect 12 coins. That's it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is really pretty easy. However, you need to make sure that you follow all the steps and read all the directions because sometimes this worksheet gets a little bit confusing. That's all for this video. If you have questions, like always, you can ask us. And, by the way, hey, I'm out.